I'm just on the other side of that wall now and I can't see any fresh tracks here but the ground's very very hard packed. The wall is intact all the way along there and all the way up the other side. I've got a steep bank side up to the right of me and there's a few breaks in the wall here so this is an obvious transition point well at least I would like to think it was a transition point from the wood to the fields and on that little tree just there I can see marks where deer have been rubbing their antlers that looks very old though it's certainly not new I would imagine that would probably be done in the spring however because it's a possible transition point I'm gonna put a camera here I think and because it's a very dark site I'm gonna use the Bushnell one because I think it does a little bit better in low light conditions this is as good a place as any directly behind the camera we've got those potential crossing points from wood to field and along here we've got a bit of a trail there's a lot of tiny little branches smashed up which indicates that there has been some sort of footfall across here and it won't be from people there's a little tree there where a deer has definitely been rubbing its antlers so they are traveling around on here if I put it up here it should be able to take in all of the crossing points and also this trail and a nice flat area down in front of the wall there so we'll get it set up and see what we get predicted species for this one um, I, I'm hoping for deer I'm just gonna go for one species and that is deer although there probably is foxes and badgers in this wood so as a secondary fox or badger primarily I would like to get a deer right I've angled that one down the bank and I'll bring the camera around just to let you see what it's looking at there you go that's pretty well camouflaged and that's what we're looking down onto that's a bit of a trail going along there scratch and post here for the deer and our various crossing points down there hopefully see the wall is pretty much intact all the way along there so I would like to think that they're coming out through here into the field. Now I don't mind telling you, I'm fairly worried about this camera. Because when I left it, I could see quite a reddish glow coming off it as it was detecting me when I was walking away. Anybody walking past might see that. And it's been out for the last four or five nights, so I just hope that nobody's seen it. Because this one is the Bushnell one, it's an expensive camera. Hopefully it's still there. Right, now before I retrieve that camera, I might as well just explain a little bit more about the bank side behind me there. It's actually south facing, so south is that way behind the camera. We've had a lot of terrible weather coming from the north over the last five or six days. So my thinking behind setting that there was it's a nice sheltered spot in this field. We've got an access point from the wood to the field so I was hoping that during this bad weather, the deer would be feeding in here. Whether they have been or not will probably be explained by the camera. Uh, and whether it's actually caught anything on the camera, but let's take a look. Yeah, so I think we've got 10 minutes of video and 111 photos. If that's true, there'll be a lot of rubbish I would imagine. So I'll whittle that down and let you see the results now.
No, that was a bit of a disaster. Yes, we did get a badger on film. Um, pictures and film of crows and pigeons. And there was a picture of a pheasant in the field as well. That was a pretty good range for the camera to pick it up because that was a, a, a canny old distance away. That's probably one of the only positives I can take from this one. And that mysterious sort of scrabbling noise and the very light colour was a mouse climbing over the camera. At least that's what I think it was. That makes the most sense to me. Because it was so close, the light from the camera was just reflecting back off it into the camera. Uh, nature won. Let's just leave it at that. That means it's Nature 3, Pond Guru 1. I've got some catching up to do. Hopefully, that starts with the next Pond Guru vs. Nature video. See you then. Thanks for watching.